what up everybody it's your boy infinite well um show y'all how to make smoother uh character sprites for your mugen characters all right first thing you need is you're gonna need these tools i'm about to show you right here earth fan view you need fighter factory classic fighter factory 3 adobe photoshop and alien skin blow up which is a plug-in for Photoshop okay all right now that you have um, the tools you need the next thing you want to do is open the character that you want to work on up in fighter factory classic you know what you want to do first is you want to get rid of any like whites in a palette that any color that's just straight white and a palette you know i don't know if this is but i'm about to check and make sure it ain't it's not exactly white so i can keep it in there but any color that's just white get rid of it all right change it to another color and a palette save it and then reopen up the character because you want to do that because we're going to set the transparency in the new for the new sprites um as white so you don't want to imagine that when we do that Okay, I have the character open up with the Shin Wu. And these this is the character I'm going to uh, smooth out of sprites. What I'm going to do is I'm about to start getting rid of all his um, effects, you know, and separate his character SFF from his effects SFF. SFF. So to do this is you um just the quickest way to do is delete groups. It's uh you know, come show up in each group and just keep deleting until you get down to a character sprite. You know, I'm getting rid of all these effects that I have in them. Keep the lean group. It's best to do this in Fighter Factory class because it's the quickest in the leading groups I found. Okay, now I got all his character sprites separated to a, to the SFS by itself. You know, just all character sprites, no effects in them. Because I'm just going to be filtering these character sprites. I'm not doing that to expect, so I just going to need those separated. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to save this as, go to Sprites tab and save it as. I'm gonna save it as something else. I'm just gonna say, um, fucking character or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Character. That. And whatever. And do your palette. Alright. And then, I'm gonna put. Go to the definition file, because I want that SFF to open there. When I open them up at Fighter Factory 3, uh, I'm rip them. I'm just gonna put care. And then, I'm gonna save. Oh, uh, okay. But before that, let me open back up this SFF that I just did, the Shin, the normal one. And it still got the effects in here, right? See? See? It's got, still got the effects and all the character sprites and everything. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a, a different SFF for just the um, for just the, the effects. So what I'm going to do is delete the groups of this character. One by one, you see? The, group, the leading groups is the character sprites now you know and I'm going to do that until I have just effects by itself and then I'm going to say that that's something else that's something like effects okay now I got that SFF by itself and you can see like just the effects I'm going to say it's F is SFF I'm going to save as the sprites and I'm going to save it as effects you know what I'm saying? Say individual. And there we go. So see, I got two, two um, two S, two different SSFs. One for the um, the character sprites, and one for the FX. So if I reload, um, she and the death, the um, the character sprite should come up. Remember, cause I changed it in the death file. So you see how all these are character sprites now. Cause that's where I changed it to to be, you know. So it's easier for when I put the sprites back in. 
and you'll see it's easier this way to align them and get everything right and don't have to separate them so and I got that done I'm going to open up Fighter Factory 3 open him up to Fighter Factory 3 okay now I got Fighter Factory 3 open and all his character sprites are in here I can just get the business right now you know what I'm saying so first thing I want to do these are just his character sprites and that's all I need I want to go to sprites tab in Fighter Factory 3 save image aligned and I want to save all of them and I only need this you know this character sprites I only need the, the, the sprites that are, are his and they are matching the palette so we'll make a new folder say Shin save it to my desktop that's what we'll say these sprites are Shin PCX I'm gonna save as PCX so I can apply the palette back to it easily let me put him back in. Then I'm gonna save. He has a perfect axis of 116, 161. Mm -hmm. and yes, and I want to save that information. So I close up Fighter Factory 3 now. Open up Earth Fan View just to. You make sure everything's straight and ain't no other sprites in here. Go to thumbnails, open up that folder, which is Shin. And you see, he's all his character sprites. All in here. His character sprites align perfectly, you know, so that'd be easy to put back in. And there we go. So we ready to move on. next thing we do is we're going to open up Photoshop okay now I got Adobe Photoshop open and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up so a lot of these sprites that I have and they're in the shin folder on my desktop that's why it's easy you know so it's a good thing to get organized easy to find and easy to access stuff and we're just going to grab like 150 of them at least hold down shift and get a lot of them just let them open up and turn they open them you only can open up so many at a time like 150 I think or, I don't know the exact number but I know you can't open up all of them at one time so while these are opening I want you to make sure that you have your actions being able to be selected on the on the um, on the right side, so that you're able to use actions. So that's what we're going to use to batch them, to batch process um, each of these sprites. Okay, all the sprites that I opened up are ready, and uh, to make sure the actions are um, viewable, go to Windows tab. So you see the actions button, click on it, and then you should be able to view it over here. On, you know what I'm saying? Where your stuff is. Sorry, I don't know all the technical terms because I really don't give a fuck that much. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Alright, the first thing is we're going to make a new action. So you want to hit the uh, make new action button right here. And then it says new action and you can just label it. Good to label shit. We're going to call it Shin. There we go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the image size. I'm going to hit control. Alt and I and I'm not really going to change the image size but I'm going to change the resolution to 300 you see once you do that usually the, um, the width and height want to change but I'm going to keep the percent on those at 100 so they really don't change just to fuck with the resolution on it so when I change the other thing you'll see alright again I really, I really didn't do nothing but next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the color table for the index palette which is you can just go to mode and then go to color table around here you see that I just press control alt and P because shortcuts is the best way to do shit you know what I'm saying and then I'm going to select the eyedropper tool and click on the transparent color which is this green right here and click on it and make it transparent and hit OK you see it's recording these actions over here it did the image size first and now it did the, the color table thing Alright, 
Next is I'm going to RGB mode, color mode this uh, image, which, which uh, takes it out of that um, 256 index color. Takes it out of that, so I'm not constrained to that anymore. The next thing I'll do is I'm going to use the automate tool over here under file. Go to automate, and that's where that alien skin uh, blow up program is, right there. You see this and then see the resolution is set to 300 for the image i'm just going to change that to 600 which should double the size of the image you see i made it bigger and it already sort of give you a preview method of, of what it's going to look like you know 600 and you can see trade it to percent and you can see the to this um 200 which is 100 percent bigger than the, you know math motherfucker all right hit okay and there we go that's the uh the filtered smoother version of it it's pretty close because i got zoomed in but you know and that's what it should look like i'm going to make it look more better later but next i'm going to mode and index the color again you know what i'm saying make sure your transparency is, is checked so you can have a transparency it's 256 colors Hit OK. I think it's black and white. It's forest or whatever. Local. You see all that shit. Hit OK. And that's going to index the, the, the picture. And now I'm going to hit Control and S to save it. And I'm going to change it to a PCX, which is which is already the file. You see how it came up and just hit save. And it's going to say, Yeah, do you want to replace it? Yeah, bitch. Replace that shit. All right. Next. That's pretty much it. I can hit stop now on my recording process. And everything is pretty much ready to go for all the rest of them. So I'm going to close this one since I already applied everything that I want to do this. i just you know, exit out of that one. I know because bitch I already saved it. Alright. Now that I got that done, I'm going to go to the file and automate. And I'm going to batch process all, all the open ones that I got left. So I got the action that I made, which is shin you know over here yeah that's it i wanted the, the sources all the open files yep i want to save and close on the destination and i want to make sure this is checked the override action to save as command because that's why i did that save at the end is going to save them over the old ones and you don't have to click save as and do all that stupid shit. then i'm going to hit okay and you see it you see it going it's, it's doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's doing this damn thing. So, let that go. And I'll be back in a minute. Alright. I got all the characters, uh, sprites done pretty much. Except for 9000 which is a small portrait. You know, all the rest are done. You can see on the bottom. Get the size. And, yeah. So, this one's not. So, I'm just going to open up this one which is, is a select screen portrait, the small one. And well, I'm not gonna high res it like all the rest of them or filter, whatever the fuck you wanna call it. I'm just gonna open up the palette. You see it? Open up the palette. And I'm gonna set the transparency on the green. I'm gonna turn it to white. Since that color's gonna be white anyway. And, uh, palette so now the image is white all right i'm gonna save that and then i'm gonna close it and i'm done with um, photoshop all right so now what we gonna do is we gonna open up fighter factory classic once again All right, now we got uh, Fighter Factory Classic open. I'm gonna make a palette for these new sprites, see what I'm saying, and apply the palette to them. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab some sprites from the shin folder. These are the first one. And I just like to look through it and you know, try and grab the colors up out of them. They look pretty smooth. But I'm gonna take some colors out and try and make them blend better, but that, I'm gonna do that later. First, I need to grab some palette. I want that white to be the transparency over here. 